Invincible 2, let's talk about it. Jesus fuck, what's wrong with my hair? So, I showered this morning, my hair shouldn't like this. But I, uh, it shouldn't be like this, but my hair, I went to the gym and my hair is just fucked. Um, it probably looks fairly normal on camera, but it's pretty bad. In honesty, right now. Um, I'll fix that. But, Invincible, let's talk about Invincible. Invincible had four episodes, and then ended season two, which I was absolutely butthurt about. They said they wanted to take a break over the holidays, I was like, okay, that's fine, yeah. Like, no episodes in December, that's fine. It's all, it's the middle of February now, and the trailer for Invincible season two, part two, just came out, and it's not releasing until March. I think this was just a terrible idea, because they're now competing with Disney releasing The Bad Batch, and let's be honest, everybody's going to flock to Disney Plus to watch The Bad Batch over Invincible. This show's good, but it's not going to hold its own against Star Wars, or just the power of Disney in general. Basically, if any Disney show was releasing right now, they'd be losing. And guess what? A Disney show is releasing at the same time, so they're losing. Um, the Bad Batch actually releases a new episode in, like... Well, like, the first three episodes, I think they come out, like, 21st of February, 22nd of February. So, it's actually, like, a week away. So, it's going to be the middle of Bad Batch Season 3. All the hype's going to be focused around Bad Batch. And Invincible Season 2 Part 2 is going to come out, and no one's going to care. Um, it's a huge flop in timing, which is unfortunate. But I'm still excited for the series. I really like Season 2 Part 1. And it's nice to know that it's finally going to be releasing March 14th. And there's a trailer out for it. So that's what I'm going to react to now. Um, just cut this out. Dave, remember to cut this out. Invincible, Season 2, Part 2. Full volume, let's go. We're not the best superhero team on the planet. We're a family. And like any family, we're all messed up in our own unique way. We go around saving lives while ruining them at the same time. We will rebuild more. Count on that. Your people must need, need your strength. Okay. I'm sure they got it covered. Behold, omnipotence! Tremble before my unlimited power! Thanks, Palpatine. No. Mark, I need you to go to space again. What? I just got win back. That one. We got a ship full of those Sekwa things coming in hot. If they get their tentacles on Earth, they'll be pulling our strings forever. We, we told you we were too powerful. <laughs> oh. I guess we're all fucked. Yeah, that's not good. How did a mere moment on Earth turn you into a weak, sentimental trait? <laughs> Hold on, wait, uh, look at Omni Man. I guess we're all He's lost so much muscle. How did a mere moment. Jesus Christ, Omni Man's built like me. I wanted to be built like Omni Man, but well, now I am. Oh no, that's heartbreaking. On Earth, turn you into a weak, sentimental traitor. Answer me. What's the occasion for such a fine suit? I'm visiting an old friend. It is good to be home. Die fast, assholes! My pizza's getting cold. <laughs> <laughs> Your family's legacy is blue. That's a fairy. <laughs> so it looks like season over. two will end. But... I'll never let anyone um. ever, ever hurt my family. I can't remember her name, but the woman who in the comments um forces herself on Mars. Is that is that one of the evil Mark Ferrets? Was that one of the evil Mark Ferrets at the end? I think so. But that's going to be interesting. Um, so it looks like it's going to end with the plot of the woman who forces herself on Mark. Um, it looked like we had an evil Invincible there. So it, it could also end on the Invincible War. Which is when um, Randstrom or, um, brings all of the Invincibles to earth and there's like a global war against these invincibles from other universes so it's possible we could see that as well um but that's interesting it doesn't look like we're gonna see much more of omni man which is really like disappointing because 
I like Omni Man. Who's missing here? We got Eve, we got Invincible, we got Martian guy. Um the big guy, I can't think of his name. Uh, you were the guy with Mark's yellow suit which looked trash. Monster Girl, Robot. So there's two possible people this could be. One, it's Abilicate. Or um, Duplicate, sorry. Fuck. Abilicate. Um, Duplicate. Who um, kind of dies, but it's revealed that actually the Kate who dies is one of the clones. And that Kate survived and had run away to live with this guy, Immortal. Or, this is... Uh, I make pennies explode guy um, Rex it's also possible this is Rex because Rex dies fighting the invincibles um, could be either one it's hard to tell They're, neither of them are shown in this funeral so it could be either one um, looking at Adam Eve's face She's, like, absolutely destroyed in the comics um, when Rex dies. She is an absolute wreck. So I'm going to assume that this is Duplicate. An Immortal doesn't look very upset, which suggests it could be Rex. But I feel like since he knows that Duplicate isn't really dead, he wouldn't be that upset. So, um... I'm going to guess that this scene is Duplicate's funeral. Like this is where Duplicate dies. Whitefoot. Viltra my outfit. Yep, you can see her short hair. And that she's a woman. There's a little titty there. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the woman who forces herself on Mark. Is this the lizard league getting murdered? It looks like it. Yeah, n naked Mark out in the desert. This is going to be from the scene where um, the woman forces herself on Mark. Yeah, this scene with um, Duplicate being ripped in half does suggest that this could be Duplicate's death right here. Um, I don't think that's actually how she dies, but it's possible. Again, it's sad to see... Nolan's no longer... Omni-Man's no longer the absolute beefed up god like these guys are. Even though he's kind of mid compared to Omni-Man. He's just like... He's just fallen. He's not been doing some press-ups in jail. Sadly. You see a bunch of new heroes here. Just like random ones from across the universe. Like, random ones from across the planet, probably. Sorry. Um, so, it's going to be an interesting season. But, I think it's going to be... I think it's going to be too crammed up. I think... They've got so many plots going on here. Brunstam coming back. Um, the woman forcing herself. The Viltrumite woman forcing herself on Mark. Duplicates death. Um, the Invincible War. Uh, fucking Omni-Man in space, the Lizard Lee coming back, the Martian bug things attacking, um, whatever this kind of, like, argument with the Lizard League is. I think I already said that, actually. Uh, this guy, who's probably just gonna be, like, a throwaway villain. Um, Mark helping out the bug creatures. There's just so much that they're gonna try and cram into four to six episodes that... I'm worried that it's going to um, feel overcrowded and not be as good of a season as we're hoping for. But I'm still hoping for the best. I'm still hoping for a good season. And if you haven't watched Invincible yet, season one and the first half of season two are on Amazon Prime Video. Uh, if you have a Prime subscription, you can watch them for free right now. Go ahead. Um, insert outro here.